Hello there. Yo, the boss of these reactions is gonna have to reach out to his contacts at YouTube because the amount of blocks I'm getting on these reactions thus far in the home stretch, season 6B in particular, the rest has been fine throughout the entire show. It's been fine, but Season 6B seems to have some brick wall over it, some magic force-filled Hunger Games style on it, which I can't get through. It's unbelievable. This is that Diagon Alley protection, man. I need to get through it. I need the spell. I'm really struggling at the moment. I'm changing the opacity. I'm trying to show as much of the episode as I can, so you see my genuine reaction to the scenes. I don't want, like, two, three-second snippets. So I'm... You know, adjusting the opacity of like sort of the Ellie Moses blocking thing. It is what it is. If you're not seeing the show, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm trying my best to entertain you guys. I hope you guys are still enjoying the reactions. And you guys have seen the show before, so you should know what I'm reacting to. What's going on, guys? My name is Ellie Moses, a 24-year-old law and film shooting here from Sydney, Australia. Shooting his shot, baby! Today, we are up to episode... 16 of the Soprano season 6. This one is titled Chasing It. We're gonna get into the reaction. We're gonna have some fun with this thing. Let's actually smash it. Let's go. Twenty-three, red and I. Oh. Yes, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, 23, Sophia's birthday. Should have had. Got like five ways there. Six is a red tooth. You cocksucking motherfucker. <laughs> what happened? Tony hit one straight up. Fine. 66-10, going out. Don't you spill those. Well, take it a play. Uh, let's play it. Right, right, right. 23 and all around. Michael Jordan, baby. You gotta ride that. All right, one more time. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. He chasing it. He chasing it. Come on, come on, 23. Come on. Oh, oh. 11. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> a hit is a hit. <laughs> what the fuck, Vito? You almost hit me. Yo, what's this? Vito Jr. in that Buffy the Vampire Slayer Cemetery. Oh my god, he looks like he belongs in the show too. Fucker! <laughs> Yo, since when did Vito Jr. become Chris Angel Mind Freak? What the fuck? Okay, the turns with the kids, this episode, like this show's oh, taking. She fucking comes in. Although some of what he's being accused of is just persecution. They claim he hung the Petruzzo's cat on their garage door. But it's totally Damn. unfounded. Well, you know, in a way, it's, it's to be expected with Vito Passion and all that that entrailed. I think the only solution is to move away from that house and the kids at school. You always said if there's anything you could do. Sure. Why not go to Phil, your cousin? Have you talked to his uncle? Who? Phil. Phil's not his uncle. Him and I are second cousins. Still family. Before we get too drastic here and uproot little Vito and all of you from your friends and your family, I should talk to him. He's impossible to talk to. It's not easy to substitute for a dad. I know, but maybe I can fill in here. Hey, fill in here. <laughs> okay, but you'll think about it? Believe me, I'm going to take care of you and he's going to be okay. See, when it, when it, when it comes to taking a hit money-wise, a hundred grand, he's not going to just give her that to pack up and leave, even though it's probably the right choice to pack up and leave. And I feel like... Those kids, um, Vito's kids, need all the attention they can get at this time with all the revelations that have unfolded at their age. Come on, man. Their dad passing, finding out what's being said about their dad in the news. They need probably professional help as well. Tony's the worst person to go to to probably give advice to, uh, to, to get, get advice from. But, you know, maybe a, a hard-earned lesson. I don't know. I don't know. But, like, I love, like, there seems to be a recurring, I talk about the theme of legacy a lot the last few episodes, but as well, um, there's a theme of sort of, like, fatherhood this season as well with Tony, you know, the last, or the earlier seasons was all about Livia and how much he resented her and how much of an impact she had on him, but now it's talking about Johnny and how much Johnny had an impact on Tony or lack thereof um, in terms of, like, what he did to him as a kid, like, what responsibilities he put on him, um, in terms of like the mafia side of things um and you know what tony sort of um looks up to or like what tony remembers 
like from his father. Um, and then again, you have the issues with AJ this season, um, with him sort of becoming a father as well with Blanca's kid. Um, then you have the issues with Vito children and her coming to Tony um, for aid. Um, and it really reminds me of the Angie Bump and Sarah situation a little bit. Obviously, Angie Bump and Sarah is more of like a monetary thing and she didn't want to take off and leave. Um, and I don't know, it seems like Tony's going back on his promises. Anything you know, he talked about last episode, again, it's that issue of money coming in again, because he just asked Ahesh for a 200k loan, how is he going to lend um, Vito's wife 100,000, um, but I don't know if it's at the same time, he doesn't want to be lending money to people as well, he wants to, like, it's all about himself, and yeah. Well, apparently Vito Jr. is a whack job. No surprise there. Family history? She wants 100k for a change of scenery. That never works. You should get him a dog. Maybe it does work. Idea. It does. It could work. <clears throat> Y'all are in your New Jersey bubble, man. <laughs> Where the fuck is Phil Leotardo? He created the situation by clipping Vito to begin with. That is my true. Best fucking earner. That is true. Now second time around, I'll get my pocket pick. Not to mention he's his uncle or cousin or whatever. <laughs> Not your problem. I agree. It should be. Yeah, why doesn't it Phil help out? I mean, he's the one that took initiative to get, or like, put pressure on Tony to get Vito whacked and then took it into his hands by coming out of the closet. The skip down bad. Oh, 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 You know how usually when someone enters the door. Okay. When, when someone usually enters this door right here, um, I remember obviously in the Ralphie episode with the devil, he had the red lighting illuminated behind him. But here, Tony, it's just the diamonds are black. Straight black. That's all he's seeing at the moment. My guy is seeing black, okay? that's, that's that, He is in a fit of rage. And yeah, he's, he's got the jaws, shark eyes at the moment. Black. <laughs> I bet you Tony wants to just get off that table and punch Phil so hard. He's got a smug face, Phil Leotardo, doesn't he? Damn, she a relative of Frank? I must have paid big bucks to get her down here. You leaving already? Yeah, yeah, it's late. Got a long hike to Jersey from here. Sure, I used to drive it myself. <laughs> no more, though. Congratulations again. Listen, I gotta bring this up favor already excuse me <laughs> you always have business on your mind take a night smell the cognac reese Butterfall came to see me she wants a hundred grand to relocate on account of vito jr already has his own social work patty told me there was doings i guess the turd doesn't fall far from the faggot's ass it's beautiful Brother. <laughs> but your family right cousins what can you do throw money at the problem well somebody's gonna I'll talk to the kid. Set him right. Good. You two going home together? <laughs> Yo, we're heading down a dark path for the final stretch here. I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. This kind of reminded me of the episode where Tony, to where Tony opened up about um, to Hesh about that he's seeing a therapist and things like that, and they're sort of like in the same seating position here. Am I right, Shannon? And your cut is on the way. Yeah. So is Christmas. Oh, you should have heard it tonight. Comments, smug. Really? Maybe I said smug. <laughs> thought we were getting along pretty good. Nah. Finally, you know, his sure. ego. His ego since becoming we boss now. Woo! A boss, but I Woo! still think it's uh, what went down with his brother Billy. I thought all that got buried with your cousin. Yeah. 
That's never going to be buried. Man, I love Friday. Oh, yeah? I don't know. They're all fucking murderers, for Christ's sakes. Look who's talking. Long way at the top, boy chick. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is... It's nice being here. Always is. Peaceful, quiet. <laughs> no headaches. <laughs> oh. Mr. Wise. Hesh the Wise. Yeah. Master Hesh. Cover up that dome. <laughs> Actually, uh, I was expecting something else. What the fucking DVD? Oh, it's a very unflattering portrait. That's what Beansy man. said. He no, talked no. about the DVD. Maybe some of the 200... Thousand, I loaned you. Jesus, yeah, that's right. I know it's covered. It's just there for a while with no vig. You know, I lost track. I'm glad you didn't. I don't want to be a stickler. No. <laughs> Anthony, come on. That's no, that's no, okay. It's okay. I got about three grand here. Point and a half good? Oh, come on. Fuck this. You got to have it. Don't want you eating cat food. Come on, stop it. I don't got to have it. I don't want a vig from you. Nah, come on. I should have been on it. I don't think I'm money. Suddenly, I'm the schmuck. Why does he need your money? Why? Cover his nut. Between his gambling and the lifestyle, and that boat, 3.2 mil. I warned him. There's absolutely no resale value whatsoever. 3.2 mil on the boat? What the fudge? <sighs> Who I forgot? Who forgets? Fuck him. Damn, Hesh! seeing him before bed. You're all upset. Makes a big show of giving me a vig. I understand your frustration, Hesh. Three thousand a week. You got a lot of Jews in your business, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. You gotta hand it to him when it comes to money. In my experience, that's nothing more than an ugly stereotype. Really? I got a friend. Let me tell you, you you tie a Kruger hand to a fishing line, you're gonna land him. Right up on the dock. Does it sound like you think of him as a friend? Come on. We go way back. But that didn't stop him from busting my fucking balls because I owe him some money. Anyway, I, I needed a little bridge loan to cover some of the gambling losses we've been talking about. Still. You know, good money after bad. Why not just stop? Big part of my life. I know, but you've been talking about it a lot. Well, you lose sometimes. You gotta act like it hurts a little more than it does, you know, for your guys. But if you couldn't lose, what's the fucking point, huh? So you need to risk. What are you chasing? Money or a high from winning? He's slipping up oh, his yeah. boss, man. There's something I need to bring up. Oasis in my week. So this is vacation. Oh, I benefit in many ways. Decide if you want to keep coming. But no, there are protocols that have to be followed. Or I won't be able to continue. Woohoo! Okay, I will. <sighs> Damn. Melfi ending up with the high ground on Tony right there. Obi-Wan Kenobi style. And I love, I always talk about how with Melfi's office, right? I feel like each and every episode we see a therapist session, we see something different in Melfi's office or they decide to place the camera in a certain part of the room where you had that establishing shot, you know, um, where Tony was first in the room after a cut from Hesh and it was that beautiful wide long shot of the entire room, but it wasn't lit from sort of um, uh, unnatural lighting or sort of like a light bulb at the top. There's a heavy emphasis this season on natural lighting. And I just feel like it was only the lighting coming from the sort of um, Melfi's, like sort of the main window and the blinds behind her. Um, and I just feel like this season um, in particular, they're going for that washed color grade. Nothing is meant to look vibrant. It's bleak. Tony himself is a ticking time bomb. Again, he had the half and half lighting right there while Melfi was fully just like lit um, properly. And Tony obviously had the half and half um, with the black and then obviously the other side um so yeah tony himself is a ticking time bomb um him as boss is definitely 
not living up to the hype in my opinion he keeps slipping he keeps slipping um keeps making these mistakes wrong decisions um yeah doesn't know when to stop with his gambling and i just feel like there should be other avenues where he can get the 200 grand easily for hesh like surely he owns other properties or like i don't know if he's just made poor investments like hesh was talking about 3.2 million on a boat what the heck i don't know one of the properties he bought of juliana can he sell uh, i'm not sure wants the media room downstairs uh, these are our cousins hugh and carmella hey, they're yeah. uh, they're also the builders oh great <laughs> oh great Can we start over here uh yeah hey vito jr <laughs> i feel like phil wants to whack him now <laughs> you know i didn't come out here just to buy you a couple of sundays send him into early early retirement man before his career even begins <laughs> I don't give a fuck what it is. What the hell's wrong with you? What she's been through? How you're upsetting her? She's just embarrassed. She cries for you. I'm gonna say this because you're old enough to understand. Your family's had enough shame. Oh. You should set things right. Bro, you put in the whole family on the kids. You understand me? No. Jesus Christ, be a man. Be the kind of man she needs. Strong, masculine. Finish that thing. There's no eating in the car. Oh, we got an outdoor lunch? Everybody enjoy the fact that your mother has sold her house. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Congratulations, Mom. That's so good. Well, actually, it just passed inspection. Brian needs to get loan approval before all we All right, can... all right, enough. It's not an easy thing to do these days. I had a lot of support. Oh no, I got gifted a spec house Brian and, and must be so happy. I frauded the inspection. So. Just a two? And I made money off it. big, right? It's a mansion. Precious Charlotte. They have a baby on the way. Holy moly, that transition. Oh, for the hundredth time, I've done a ton of houses using the same construction before these sob sisters took over the building department. And I'm not losing any sleep. <laughs> Well, regulations evolve over time, so if you're not putting up with these regulations, your house is not going to be up to standard. What the devil, Anfro? That's Chrissy. Oh, this guy, I recognize him. Oh, the mysterious stranger. Hey. All time. Ah, oh, sir. Hey, I drop Eli off at physical therapy, thought I'd check in on the brain trust here. Ah, <laughs> oh, sir, clear <laughs> yeah, Don't be shy, Sherlock. You want a sandwich? No, I just ate, thanks. Not it, eat. Thank you for the rent. The rent, the rent. What are you talking about? Really, Tony? You know what? I have a beer. Here you go. You stop already. That should get me to another week, right? Why is he throwing a hissy fit like a kid, man? I got some spare change here, too. Again, it's the cultural clashes. It's a like, joke. Where's that sense of humor? Should put this in a pot. Make things interesting. I'll take a shot at that. Let's play. Let's see. Pretty Didn't sure Hesh... Did right. Yes, and it's normal. Didn't Hesh as well give your freaking um, dad's guma her cut of the raceway and stuff like that when she inherently probably didn't deserve it? But out of your dad's, you know, I guess will... He gave it to her. Like, Hesh has done a lot for Tony. He's one of the old heads. And it seems like there's re this recurring team where Tony lacks that respect for the guys that came before him. Um, and he's just sloppy in his decision making. And he doesn't know when to stop. And it's, it, it, it's frustrating at points. Almost as if he's becoming insufferable. Because I, I really like Hesh. But, like, Esh, Hesh is one of these old heads who's done a lot in the game. Has connections within the music in I love the music industry connection, by the way. Has connections in the music industry. Has set himself up for life for good. And he's just being disrespected inherently. Like Maybe it was the Kung Pao. Get me a drink. Sure, alcohol. That's good for it. Get one yourself. He's all worked up or something. I don't like the way he talks. Hostile remarks. It's not like him. Makes me worry. At least Hesh recognizes it's not like him. What are you thinking? Hmm. Oh, come on. Tony's not gonna hurt you. You've seen how these Italians work. For the most part, it's okay. Get them cornered. You're dealing with nothing more than an animal. <laughs> what, do you think he's gonna kill you now? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Money goes in one hand and right out the other. The more he makes, the more he spends. 
That wife? Eli, at what point is it cheaper for him to settle it another way? Did he mean divorce there? <laughs> Yeah, whenever you keep chasing it, you keep chasing it, you're eventually going to just keep losing. <laughs> as soon as the dealer changed. <laughs> Meadow Gold in the fifth. Gotta go that. Three minutes to post. Two to one on your daughter. This gambling addiction, man, it's sad. What do you have on tap? Give him a beer. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, they're running here. Where's, where's the fucking shop? It's on, Tone. Rounding the clubhouse. All right, go, girl. You're oh, you fucking Come on, girl. 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 Come Panic attack. Oh no. <laughs> and it ends not with a bang, but a whimper. What is this? It's a ring. It's a ring. Gorgeous. Wait, how old is AJ now? I don't know what to say. Is he like 19? I'm scared. Okay. Is she 29? You had with Hector's dad. I'm not like that. I know. It's not just that. Well, what then? I'm gonna work my ass off. You know I'll always take care of you guys. In three months, I made night manager of the pizzeria. In another three, I'll be in charge of the day shifts too. A couple years, I'll own a chain of restaurants, clubs. I'll never have to work again. I like the ambition, you know. Look, I love you. So marry me then. And we'll have kids. And you always say you want Hector to have brothers and sisters. Yo, the pressure you're putting on this woman right now. Like, <laughs> okay. Now, okay is not yes. The answer is either yes or no. Okay is a different type of answer. That is very interesting. Okay is doubts. <laughs> No, no, I, I think it's uh, time for our talk here. Ah, uh, Tony Soprano versus Ellen DeGeneres. Let's go. But this trouble you're causing, I'm very disappointed because you, you always were a good kid. You don't even know me. What is that supposed to mean? Sometimes you call me Carlo Jr. Look, all I know is I couldn't shut your dad up about what a good kid you were. We were friends, you know. But buddies? Whoa! But you're being funny. That's good. I'm sure you miss him. A lot. Um, I don't know if it's like a thing this episode or this season in general. I gotta re go back and rewatch a lot of the episodes before it. But the camera this season is not um stationary in a lot of the scenes, a lot of the conversations. It seems like it's handheld and it's a little bit tilted and unsettled. It keeps shaking a little bit, like it keeps rocking, almost as if it's just again trying to replicate those um those uncharted waters we're going into it's you know it's um it, it it's a rough tide at the moment and i don't know if it's meant to yeah um i guess indicate that this season itself is going to be unsettling it's going to be unsettling for the viewer and i do agree with the unsettling nature of the last three or four episodes in general i mean soprano her movies and then we had episode 14 which in my opinion stage five was the best episode of the series thus far or can be argued it can be one of the best like one of if not the best episode of the series and then last episode again it's like very unsettling it's completely different you're gonna look at me I'm not moving the fucking main. You think anybody wants that? You know how much that's gonna cost? Your mother? Whatever. Listen to me, okay? I'm not some fucking social worker. Now, you knock this weird shit off, or I'm gonna introduce you to play class window. Oh. Somebody should have told my dad to knock off the weird shit. Then go out and pity for yourself. What about your mother? What about what she's been through? What am I supposed to do about it? 
just hard on a kid, man, as well. Like, come on. These guys have been through like, is it a traumatic experience, what they went Yeah, it is. Like, their dad passed away, and then Look all these gun, okay? reports and stuff. Now. Like, Start fucking acting like it. You get me? And yet again, I feel like it's Tony's lack of of a parental father figure at his age that he doesn't know how to discipline his own kids. And same goes for Vita Jr. Come, your cousin Brian has fucked over a lot of people. Trust me. So how much in the end? All in. Well, uh... All in. After, uh, construction, the purchase of the land, closing costs, it must be close to six. Oh. <laughs> You know what you should do? Not gamble. You take a chunk of that and put it on the jets. No. Oh, okay. Yes, very funny. I'm serious. We can't get hurt. Well, I didn't say all of it. You know, just a piece of my half. Your half? Damn. That's... You're rich, Tony. Use some of those bundles to cover it. That money's for emergencies only, Carm. You know that. And my other money's tied up in asset allocation. This is the gravy. Windfall cash. This is the kind of shit you play with. No, it's not! I'm telling you, we are golden here. Just like Meadow Gold was golden? Well, it's alright, it's just I thought this was my money. You're right. You're right. It is. He has to suck this one up. <laughs> Renata! What? the bedroom and lock the door. Hershey, what's going on? Do it. <laughs> I feel sorry, man. They're gonna live in fear thinking he's gonna get whacked. What are you doing here? Nice to see you too. Oh, I was watching CNN and uh, fucking Hezbollah. Uh, I run down to the boat show in Edison. Thought you might want to join. I'd love to, but uh, Renato's got a migraine. That's too bad. The big, three grands. Should put us up to date. Listen, I can't take this. Give it all to me whenever you can. You're gonna do this every time? Whatever you say. Sit down. Have a drink. We We're should get going, probably. Doing okay. this installment plan. For sure? And he came with his muscle Bobby yeah, this time. time. Uh, I'll call first. Hey, we're friends, man. Like, it's just visits. Like, what, where is this friendship going out the window? Not pay my debts. Head of the family. How's that gonna look? Who's gonna know? The boys, man. It's a bad example. Like Eddie Valentine. He's a small-time hoodie gay shot. Maybe you should start sucking cock instead of watching TV land. Because Vito bought in three times what you do on construction. Yeah. And I didn't have this fucking problem. Maybe you should look at yourself as well, man. Maybe everything's just slowing down in general. God fucking damn it! What? That's good, right? <laughs> no. We could have turned your bullshit into a fucking million dollars. My bullshit? That spec house was my investment for my future. Here we go. Jenny Sack had to move in with her fucking daughter, Tony. Well, get with Jenny Sack, huh? John provided. She's a fucking hysteric. You ever think I might know what I'm doing? You and the furniture and the clothes and the cars. You would have spent everything I made if I let you. You know what? The next time you win, I'll take a cut and I'll roll the fucking dice. You already took your cut from the bird feeder. And don't fucking deny it again. What? 40 grand in the stock market. I asked for my piece, but wait, there's nothing. This is Tony at his worst. At his absolute... In a spec house, I made the down payment. I bought the materials. I leaned on that building inspector when you would your thumb up your ass. So stop talking about your money! Let go of me, you piece of shit! Fact is, you're a shitty businesswoman who built a piece of shit house that's gonna cave in and kill that fucking unborn baby any day. And now you can't sleep. That is true. <laughs> Fuck yourself! When I'm gone, you can live in a fucking dumpster for all I care! Y'all are effed up people. All of you. All of you. You're, you're all dirty people, man. But that, 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 that's, that's, the, that's the monster there uncaged, unhinged. That's the monster let out of its freaking habitat right there. That's the bear that's gone into the household 
and become violent. Not the peaceful bear anymore. There's no more two sides to Tony. It's just one person and he's letting it all out. Don't drop the soap. And nobody dropped the soap. Spaz of fuckwits in the house. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoop his ass! What the fuck? He shit. Oh. Oh, oh. Jesus, what's wrong with you? He stepped in it. Suckers call their minds is still in his garage. So oh, he the piece of man. Shit. We're heading down Communipo Avenue, and the fucking thing starts to do -si -do. You got word on the power tools? Hear the latest on Vito Jr.? No, uh, man, no. You got expelled because you took a shit in the shower in gym class. Ooh, that sick little fuck. You should see him. The makeup? And without school, Marie says he's shutting his room all day. Probably thinking about how to pull a columbine. Oh, we're joking? We're not just going to give the kid the attention he needs, maybe? And maybe move away from this place? He's getting bullied? What is a basket case? She's nine years old. What the fuck did she ever do? Tragedy. Like a pebble in a lake. Even the fish feel it. It's not too early to start again. It's not too late to start again for Marie. You know, it's one of us. What? I need to give this back to you. I can't keep it. Why? I mean, I love you. I love you too, Anthony. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Oh, man. Oh. I just don't feel it. Yeah, yeah. If she ain't feeling it sometimes, just end it, end it, end it, end it. It's never going to be there. Don't force it. Don't force it. I'm sorry, AJ. You're going to have to take this one. I know it's going to hurt so bad. And I know you love her so bad. And you're going to be heartbroken. And this could turn into deep depression now. But, like... Like, yeah, if she says that sometimes I don't feel it, then yeah, just you have to you hear about this thing with the dolphins kick. Take it, man. He went under a whole truck against Philly. Too good to be true. Now, what I'm gonna put the whole hundred K down on Philadelphia. Oh, no, no. If I win, uh, Marie Spatter 4 gets your free ride at end show. Yeah, good for you. Chasing it. Hell of a finish. Injuries, even tragedy, unable to stop Miami. Final score, Miami 21, Philadelphia 7. When you get special team support like that, it makes all the difference. And also, when you see Jason... I'm surprised that Christopher and Sylvia... Are they too scared and fearful of Tony to speak up about his gambling problem? To speak some sense into him? There's no geographical solution to an emotional problem, Marie. Maybe there is. Maine, wherever. A Marie. fresh start. Get the F out of here. Yeah. Seeing these similar hard. faces every day. But it's the best thing for him. Okay? Again. Thank you, Tony. That's the lack of a parental figure with Tony. <sighs> Just because you cannot control your money, there's no need to have resentment towards Jewish people, man. And is that guy meant to look like Johnny Soprano right there? Or... His attention's on the wrong things, Tony, man. He's all over the gaff. Wake up, Vito. What? Vito, my name is Steve. I'm here to help you. You're gonna come with us now, all right? Come on. Go! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Hey, go. you have to be strong. Go. You're doing the right thing. Who are you? Let me go back to bed. He's got a four-way wheelie. No. He's gonna be fine. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> Bro, th this is like equivalent... So how people get whacked in this show, kidnapped and whacked? Like they did that to the kid. If I have to hear any more scores this game, I'm gonna be so pissed. Come on, we're not speaking now. There's the Dutch angle on Carmella. Listen, come here. What? I'm sorry. I really am. It still doesn't take away from the fact that Carmella ripped off people in the house and did a dodgy with the house. I should know I'm in construction. Well, I'm glad to hear you approve. I have been losing. I'm fucking losing right now. You're losing the plot. A shitty streak. So 
your solution is to risk more and make things even worse. Well, you start chasing it. And every time you get your hands around it... Now you won't even go down and get the paper. Who, who is out there? Come on. What is it? What are the million other possibilities? The FBI waiting to take you away? You, right, you eat and you play and you pretend like there's not a giant piano hanging by a rope just over the top of your head every minute of every day. <laughs> That's it, okay? I've been thinking about this. Now, I survived a fucking gut shot wound. What are the odds on that? Terrible. So if you think about it, big picture-wise, I'm up. What? Way up. Oh, don't jinx it, man. That was me. Not a fireboat. 10.30. Is she? Is she? Is she dead? Breakfast. Hmm? Yo! I had a... Whoa, I had a feeling, bro. I was like, what the heck? She looked hail as hell. Did she just pass away in her sleep? OD? What? What? She was a great girl. Thanks. The best. I feel like Hesh is uh, almost like a father figure to Tony, man. Money. Money's not going to solve everything in this situation. Money doesn't cure all problems. It helps, but... So it took Renata passing to get the 200 grand when he could have got it any time. He thinks giving the money is gonna cure Hesh's... Grief. Drop the bag and go away like that. Bro, this is like that that just says a lot about Tony Soprano, you know, an individual who's probably like a dear friend to him in Hesh, who's been there, who's been through the wars, who's, you know, aided your father and being a father figure to you in your time, um, just gets treated like trash at the end there. I I don't know if it's just oh man, I, I felt so bad for Hesh right there, because Renata, like a young a young sort of like blossoming individual, passes away and Tony rocks up drops the money um and money is obviously usually see money a lot of people say money's the devil right like well that's how i was brought up like money listen money cures a lot of problems in life like money does help people say oh money doesn't buy happiness it sure does help don't get me wrong it sure does help like no one should argue that it doesn't help at all but the fact that you're i don't know i feel like a lifelong friend almost as if like a father figure to you has supported you your entire life his wife or girlfriend, whatever, like his wife passes away. You just rock up, drop the money you rightfully owe him um, to his house and just think that's going to solve everything. I think says a lot about Tony Soprano's mindset. Um, and he, at points, he's just, yeah, we have highlights throughout the show of him having a few like, you know, um, nice emotional connections with his kids, other individuals, you know, in the ride, him holding the baby, being happy, um, holding Nika, sorry, and, you know, being happy and things like that. But those moments don't sort of take away from the fact that this man is a sociopath. This man deep down is, is almost, I don't know, is it wrong to call him not human at points in the way he acts? Like, this man is a force of nature. This man is such a interesting television character and probably one of the most interesting characters of all time um and i feel like this episode um or this episode in particular solidifies that tony soprano has lost it he's lost it for a while now in my opinion but he's and i oh, i talked about it in my early reactions i talked about it in season one or two you know it's about balancing or it's about dividing the two lifestyles you have you know being that father figure at home and then obviously being the mafia boss on the outside and whether you can balance the two and not let your frustrations in the mafia side of things seep into your family seep into the household and at this point it's it's everywhere it's it, it's it's a cancer that's spread and it cannot be cured um 
and you can't even slow it down. This one is fast spreading. This one is unstoppable. And yeah, I'm really loving this season. I'm really loving this show. We're on the home stretch now, and it seems like it's going to be phenomenal. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. As always, it's been the boy of the Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.